Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Uh, this video I want to talk to you about the carrot bend. And this is one of the best knots for joining thick or stiff ropes since you don't need to bend the rope sharply to make the knot. Uh, the carrot bend is also uh, uh, super secure even when wet and it will not jam. And to, to tie the knot, I'll just show you the design of the knot. All you're going to do is you're going to make a, a loop like that, okay, and then you're going to connect two ropes, so you're going to go under this, over this, under here, and then you're going to go over, under, over, over, under, over, and what you're going to wind up with is a a knot that looks just like that, a very symmetrical knot. You know what have you have it right if you have your ropes coming off diagonal here, diagonal here, diagonal here, and diagonal there. And then to tighten the knot, this is also a, a knot that's the basis of a lot of other knots, like the diamond knot, things like that. So this is called the the knot in a mat form, it's just a flat piece. When you pull it together, you're just gonna pull, you're gonna pull on the, the, the ends and it's gonna capsize itself and you can snug up the ends if you want a little bit, that's fine. And it, it goes into a very nice binding knot. But the beauty of it is it has the ears on it again, where you just have to push down the ear so it won't jam up and it's very easy to untie. And let me show you another one more time. So you're just going to make a, a simple loop like that, okay? And then you're going to come up from underneath like this, go over the top of the tag, under this side, and then over, under, over, over, under, over, and this is what it's supposed to look like right there. You have diagonal, 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 and the center part actually looks like a diamond. That's why this is, this is the basis of the diamond knot. Okay, so then to, to tighten it, you would just pull the two, the, the, the two standing ends together and it will just flip over on itself. But it's fantastic for big, not, big ropes or real stiff ropes. Okay, and I'll show you one last time how to tie it in your hand. And it's a little harder to follow, a little harder to see. So again, you would just make a, a loop. You'd bring the, the rope up underneath it, over the top underneath and then over under oops over under and over and there you have the and out here it kind of looks like a big old pretzel that's what you're looking for and again same thing you just pull the ends together and it just flips over on its own it's a fantastic knot well that's all I have for you right now thanks for watching